Polycystic ovary syndrome, or PCOS. It is a relatively common endocrine or hormonal disorder characterized by irregular menstrual cycles, hyperandrogenism, which is excess male hormones, polycystic ovaries, many cysts. This syndrome affects a large number of women worldwide, and it is a disease that is sometimes described as incurable but controllable. If you or a loved one suffers from this disease, you'll be interested in the following information. Hello and welcome to our vlog. I'm Dr. Gabriel Rosales, a certified bariatric surgeon and founder of Obesity Free. I will share with you transparent and valuable information so you can make the best and most informed decision regarding bariatric surgery. In this video, we will talk about PCOS, polycystic ovarian syndrome, and how gastric leaf surgery contributes to its improvement. But first, what are the signs and symptoms of PCOS? Oligomenorrhea, infrequent menstrual periods. Amenorrhea, abnormal absence of menstrual periods. Hirsutism, abnormal hair growth on the face and body. Mild or severe acne and infertility which is very common and one of the reasons why patients come to us bariatric surgeons after making several attempts to change this situation to achieve pregnancy finally. Speaking of pregnancy, if you want to know when to get pregnant after gastric leaf surgery, I invite you to click on the links to the related topics, gastric leaf and pregnancy and pregnancy after gastric sleep. You should see them somewhere in this page. What are the risk factors when suffering from PCOS? Some of the most important risk factors are type 1 diabetes, type 2 diabetes, and gestational diabetes. Insulin resistance affects between 50 to 70% of women with PCOS, leading to several comorbidities including metabolic syndrome, hypertension, dyslipidemia, glucose intolerance, and diabetes. Studies show that women with PCOS are more likely to have increased calcium levels in their coronary arteries, which are the arteries of the heart. In other words, a higher risk of a heart attack. Mental health disorders such as depression, anxiety, bipolar disorder, and binge eating disorder also occur more frequently in women with this condition. So now that you know a little more about PCOS, how does gastric sleeve surgery help prevent infertility? Weight loss is recommended as a first-line therapy for the treatment of infertility in overweight or obese women with PCOS. Anovulation and pregnancy loss are related to obesity. Additionally, obesity is associated with a reduced response to all fertility treatments. Several studies indicate that weight loss of 5 to 10% can increase ovulation and, therefore, the chance of pregnancy. The role of bariatric surgery in PCOS. Well, in several studies carried out for this purpose, we have the following data. After weight loss surgery, most women, 70%, regained normal menstrual function, and most, 83%, had documented spontaneous ovulation. The average weight loss was around 80 pounds, so as you can imagine, the amount of pounds loss surpasses the needed 5 to 30% weight loss recommended for reducing the PCOS problem. Patients so showed significant improvement in hirsutism and an approximately 50% reduction in HOMA IR, which is the insulin resistance test. Women with metabolic syndrome undergoing weight loss surgery were followed up for more than two years and all women resumed regular menstrual cycles. Half, half of them had resolution of hirsutism and H1C glycosylated hemoglobin decreased from 8.2% to 5.1% in only three months. Dyslipidemia, hypertension and diabetes mellitus were almost entirely resolved and within a short period of time, many women in the review became pregnant spontaneously after surgery. Talking about surgery for adolescents and polycystic ovarian syndrome, young women with PCOS 
show evidence of atherosclerosis and the frequency of diabetes mellitus before 50 years of age is very high. It is estimated to be three to four times the prevalence above of the general population. So it is considered that some women with PCOS between 25 to 40 years old with metabolic syndrome probably already have early coronary heart disease. Bariatric surgery can then provide primary prevention of heart disease, eliminating metabolic syndrome and causing a significant long-term reduction in mobility and mortality in these patients. You can check our topic where we talk about gastric leaf surgery in adolescents. So we can conclude that one of the main factors leading to this disease is obesity, which is why weight loss surgery such as gastric bypass and gastric sleeve represent a very effective tool in attacking the problem and it is its related comorbidities. So I hope this video has been helpful to you in having a clear perspective on PCOS and learning about another of the many benefits of bariatric surgery. I invite you to like, subscribe, and share this video if you find value in the information. I'm Dr. Gabriel Rosales, and my goal is to help you improve your life and health permanently while becoming obesity-free.